Welcome back to the channel once again, fam. I'm your host, Baritone Bliss, and this is Dirt TV. Don't freak out if you notice that my voice is a little bit deeper than usual. Sometimes you see what you get. But my voice will warm up as we go, so don't let it stress you out. Halloween was a trip. Halloween, we couldn't afford no Halloween costumes. Hey, kids, please. Mama sent us down to the liquor store and put boxes on us. We didn't know what we were. I don't know what we are. I don't know. She didn't tell her. I think we UPS, I guess. I don't know. You've heard me say that every Halloween I had the same outfit on. Every year. I just had a brown box. I wasn't nothing sad. I just not asked my father, could I have a new outfit? And he said, no, just wear the same one. It was just a brown box. And he just told me to tell everybody I was a UPS man. Yeah. Uh, okay, so tell he me about this. He never said thank you. Uh, so what's up with you and Steve, man? I ain't nothing, I ain't nothing with me. He's, uh, well, Steve stole my material on his show, so I had a beef on that. On what show? On, when he was on his the, the, the bullshit talk show he had. And he did, he, he did all my Halloween material, one Halloween. I'm watching, uh, uh, somebody called me, said, man, homeboy doing your material. So he did my whole Halloween run. And I know he didn't think of it. And, uh, this, this is true stuff that really happened to me. Mm -hmm. And so my thing is, you don't have to do that, homeboy. Mm. Right. So, you know, motherfucker, you made enough money, bitch ass. You, know? <laughs> wow. you made enough money, you did enough. You know, what? Why are you on my material? Right. You know, what's that about? You right. know, and then, you know, people want to jump up. Oh, he didn't know. He didn't steal your. So, yes, he did. Yeah. I mean, you know, so, you know, and so that, that there's no need to. Do, no one else has did that. Mm -hmm. to, so uh, this was on his talk show. Which talk was his TV talk show? His TV talk show. OK, this was uh, the one he had on NBC just recently. Whatever. Yeah. The, okay. the one that, that damn, who took his show from him? Uh, Kelly Clarkson. How can mm. Kelly Clarkson take your show, homie? Hey, bro. Damn. Mm. You know, so, so you got your actually, show took by but, Kelly Clarkson? You know what's crazy? Damn. I met my fiance on Steve's show, on Steve uh, really? Harvey's talk show. Yeah. So so that's that's another story. But I want to get back to that because I think that is the most lewd thing a comic can do. Yeah, to, yeah. Yeah. to me. Right. To me, because right. I step to you. Right? I'm going to step to you. You ever step to him? Yeah, step to him. What'd you say to him? Well, yeah, yeah, tell I us mean, about you know, that. Tell, ask him. Okay, I will, that, but we got you. Was that the first time that had ever happened to you? Um, No. No, okay. Friend, what irritated you, you so much about Steve doing it then? Because he made it. He's he's okay. he's there. He's he's on national no TV. Need. You got you paid. You did your thing. You you try to either you fucking with me or you disrespecting mm. me or you you know <laughs> I I don't understand that you taking food out of my money. Mm. Uh, my uh, you know you taking whatever you know what I mean. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, food I don't, out your mouth. That's I plagiarism. Right. Wow. So I mean, so we got you here. Steve yeah. ain't here. I'll yeah. ask Steve later. What'd you say to him when you when you stepped Accent. in? Accent. Okay. Accent. was it you guys work things out? Was it still No, I, I saw him at the um at the uh the um not the um the Def Jam twenty five. Oh Def Jam, mm. okay. So okay. when I see you, I see you. Okay. So when I But speaking of things warming up, to put it mildly, things got quite heated during Dave Chappelle's Thursday comedy show in Boston as a Wall Street Journal report states that some audience members left after Chappelle accused Israel of war crimes and suggested that pro-Palestinian members shouldn't be losing their jobs. So, big accusations, again, on a very, very sensitive and very, very important topic, so... It was bound to happen. I'm not surprised myself who it happened to because we know Dave Chappelle doesn't hold back. But we also know that he usually has a point in what he's saying. But let's continue the story. Some in the audience began cheering Chappelle and shouted, Free Palestine, while others yelled, What about Hamas? Ultimately, some audience members got up and walked out of the show. Chappelle also later said in the show that two wrongs don't make a right regarding the Hamas terror attack and Israel's response per the Wall Street Journal report per the Wall Street Journal report per the Wall Street Journal report I'm gonna keep doing it because y'all don't see what some people try to do I like to preemptively strike 
Continuing again, one person who attended the show said on social media per the Daily Mail, per the Daily Mail, <clears throat> the audience was cheering Chappelle on during his tirade. I was sick. We were sick. I turned to my friends and wife and said, I think it's time to go. We walked out and met up with many other Jews leaving the show. Never in my life have I felt so unsafe and so fearful of what I was witnessing. And that ends that quote. Now, once again, I'll let you make of that part what you will. I don't know enough about any of that of what's going on other than two people are fighting and what they're fighting about. I'm not going to pretend like I've been there in the trenches and I know what's going on. So my comments are non-existent. But in 2021, Chappelle also sparked controversy with a shtick about <laughs> space Jews. If it's funny, I'm going to laugh. Shut up. This is what Chappelle said. In my movie idea, we find that these aliens are originally from Earth, that they are originally from an ancient civilization that achieved interstellar travel and left the Earth thousands of years ago. He said in his Netflix special, The Closer, which most people have seen. Check it out. So, yeah, there you have it. Now, I've become quite fond of asking for everybody's opinion because I genuinely, truly love to indulge in seeing what different people have to say. But with this one, while I will most definitely still ask for your opinions, I will ask you to comment with clarity because something like this is not something to be joked about or discussed lightly. And I'm one of the best comedians I know, pat on the back, incoming. But this ain't nothing to joke about, not in any way, shape or form. Now, as a professional comedian, as far as Dave Chappelle is concerned, once again, he's proven in the past that he's a comedian, but he usually has a pretty pungent point that he's going towards at least. So again, I'm going to hold all of my opinions on who's right, who's wrong indefinitely because I do not know who's right, who's wrong overall. But again, don't let that stop you from giving your opinions, but do so nicely for lack of a better way to say it. Like, yeah. But anyway, that aside, that's all we got for you on this one. So we out of here. We've been Dirt TV Celebrity Media. You guys have been great as always. Keep it locked in for the latest stories, the latest breaking news, and the latest updates. And you know we got you covered. But do me one small favor, especially in a time like this. And I say this with no exaggeration. Be sure to be safe at all times. Until next time. And we'll see you then. Peace.